Yo, what up? It's comedy. Um, this is gonna be a, a thrift video. I know I haven't made one in a while. It's been like two months, I want to say. So, um, I mean, I picked up. I'm not gonna say too much over the last two months, but I picked up stuff that I really like. I think there's some heat. So, um, yeah, here it goes. So the first one is this. Um, I just want to say vintage jacket. I don't know how to explain it, but um, it's purple, and I want to say it's like a aqua blue. And black on the bottom, and then on the bottom it has like these Navajo type print. Same thing on the sleeves. It is a road walker jacket, and it's a medium. And uh, it's the same on the back, I think. Yep. So, got that for like three bucks. Um, here's a San Francisco Giants. Um, just a regular Gildan shirt. It's a large. No cracking whatsoever. It's just plain black. It's not bad. Here's a Garmacy Large cardigan. I've got at Goodwill for like six bucks. This is like the first cardigan I found and the first cardigan I own. So it was a good find. It's just um, it's white and gray and black buttons and it's just black all around. This one is a Rich Gannon logo athletic jersey right there. Um, size extra large. Not bad. So, look at the back. Gannon 12. Here, um, it was originally a dress shirt, but I cut off the sleeves and kind of messed up on it. But, I mean, it's whatever. It's not too bad. Um, San Jose Sharks right there. It's a Elise Sport, extra large, 100% cotton, nothing else on the side. Oakland Athletic, um, majestic shirt, it's a large, no cracking right here. On the back, it says buck six. And I'm a crumper, and uh, the term buck means tight, so like this shirt is buck, you know? Like, it's crazy. Um, there's no tags on this shirt, but look at it. It, it made me laugh. Um, stand out in the crowd. It has a giraffe, like, all painted different colors. No cracking whatsoever. This is a great shirt. Good find. Um, next up is Oakland Raiders. Grinding it out since 1960. I've never seen this shirt before. So like it's very detailed and everything. There's a little bit of cracking, but that's not the that, that's not too bad. And this is a guy running with a football. Um, on the back, I can't show you the next shirt just yet because that's my that's the gem. Um, right there, 2007 Oakland Raiders. This is when they didn't do so good. They didn't have a good season that that year. Um, yeah, and it is by. What is this by? Delta Pro Weight. So, now this shirt is my favorite shirt that I found. Um, pro player, San Francisco 49ers. I mean, look at this. Like this, this. I don't know how to explain this water scheme kind of thing. Not positive, but um, it's just nice. There's no cracking. It's in pristine condition when I got it. it looks like nobody even wore it. It's just very nice how it offsets with the, the, not offset, but how it goes with the shirt. It's perfect. So like I said, it's a pro player. It's a large. So yeah. All right, let's get into the snapbacks. I got three. Uh, I'm just going to go from which one I think is the neatest to the not neatest, basically. So I got this original um, New Era's snapback, green underbrim. Not much. New Era's right here. So, nothing too crazy, but simplicity is key sometimes, you know? So, it's just an N, probably stands for New Era. Um, yeah, that's one. Uh, I got this at a Goodwill. It's a San Francisco snapback. Uh, green underbrim. Black snap, I put that on there myself. Um, when I got it, it was really dirty in this area and this area, but, you know, just got to put some time and work into it, so, it says frame on the back, red air holes, 
Um, yeah, good hat. And this is probably the hat that I like the most. Probably my favorite hat so far. Boom! Oakland. I'm not going to say Oakland Raiders because this is before they were Oakland. So Raiders and Co. Snapback with the championships on the side. Uh, 1984, 1981, 1977. Green underbrim. The details inside are nice. Uh, it's an Anco, like I said. So this is probably my favorite hat as of now. Out of like the 40-something hats I have, this is probably my favorite one. Um, it's just how everything's on there is crazy. Um, yeah. So let's go into the shoes. I got two pairs of shoes. Um, this is crazy because... Let me just explain to you about these shoes real quick. I went to a thrift store in Berkeley with... Uh, my dance mom and my homies, right? And basically, I'm not gonna say these were thrift stores because, well, they are thrift stores. They're just like more urban thrift stores. Like what I'm saying is just like you you won't find vintage stuff there, but you will find stuff that are like really up to date. So like for example, these Nike Dunks. Like when I went to this thrift store, I was looking for vintage stuff like, you know, these hats or whatnot or some, like, some clothes. But I saw these kicks and I was just like, whoa, like, all right, I got to cop these, especially these. Um, they're just Nike Ducks. And I haven't even cleaned them yet, you know? Like, I just wore them a bunch of times because I thought they were nice. Which is like, right here is like wool. I don't think you see it, but it's like very soft. So, I mean, it's a nice, nice feel to it. Um, yeah, these are... Definitely winning shoes. But then the next one I'm about to show you. My friend liked these. I, I got these because I got these because he said he's gonna buy them off of me, but then I looked at them and just like I'm just gonna keep them just to keep them. So um these are Nike 3M reflectors. Now why they're called that, um I don't know what 3M is, but they have like this like croc skin kind of not croc skin, but this croc design on the shoe and I guess that's what 3M is but like when you put in the light like that it reflects so I mean you know like in the in the front too um yeah right there just reflects a little bit so I mean it makes the shoe stand out a little bit even though it's all black and everything but like I said it's still a good find so yeah that's my pickup for like the last two months I'm sorry I haven't been doing it as much as I should but I've been kind of busy with everything that's going on right now so it's just like you know I'm gonna do it as often as I can um, for two months time I guess that's a lot of stuff for me going like maybe once every two three weeks so um, hope you enjoy if you have any questions about anything just leave it in a PM or a comment below thanks for watching